So now that we've talked about the executive completion service and I've given you an example of how to use it, we've talked about its API and how it works, let's talk about the pros and cons of applying it to the Prime Checker app. And we'll also talk about the pros and cons of this app in general at this point. So this particular implementation of Prime Checker fixed problems with the earlier versions that we had. In particular, the other version we had was a, a synchronous future completion model or processing model, which meant that the order in which you got the results isn't necessarily the order in which the results are completed because you have to wait in a certain order. And if that order differs from the order in which they actually completed, you're getting things in different orders and you're waiting too long in a lot of cases. So the nice thing about this version is because something doesn't even go on the queue, the internal, in, the internal completion queue, until it's finished, we're going to get the results in the order in which they complete. So it'll be a lot more responsive in many cases. So if you take a look at the code here, this, this code has the benefit that it uses an asynchronous future processing model as opposed to a synchronous future processing model. And so it's going to be more responsive. Another nice thing about this solution is that we are able to enable transparent optimization without changing the prime callable. So as you can see here, we go ahead and make a new memoizer here, and then we plug in the memoizer there. And this allows the memoizer to be used wherever a function is expected. So the benefit of this is we can change the behavior without having to change the prime callable, which remains the same. And that's just a great example of behavior parameterization. And behavior parameterization is one of the cool features you get with modern Java through things like method references and Lambda expressions and other stuff that we'll talk about, like streams. So you can easily swap, just go from brute force to efficient without changing anything uh, else in the code. However, there still are some limitations, which is always the case. Almost everything, you know, very, it's very hard to have a perfect solution. I think by the time we're done with all these examples, we'll have a perfect solution. But of course, the perfect solution is more complicated than all the other ones. So maybe it's not so perfect. It takes more work. But once you get it, it's really cool. So here's the key problem with this approach. So even though we have solved the issue of um, parameterizing the behaviors for the, the prime number checking, and even though we've added caching, which we didn't have before. If you use this memoizer for a long period of time, the cache will just keep growing and growing and growing. And we're never going to go ahead and clean out the cache. So the cache, will, even, if, even if it turns out that there's a lot of items in there that haven't been used for a long time, they're just going to stick around. And the cache will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If the, the concurrent hash map will keep growing. And it'll start to burst at the seams, not unlike my, my metaphor of this poor orange. Not really sure what that's supposed to be, by the way, but it looked like a good example of something bursting at the seams. Uh, and the problem here is that the cache won't clean itself up. Now, obviously, we will not let that go unfixed, and we will fix it when we talk about the Java scheduled executor service, which will come up um, probably not. Uh, that might come up this week. We'll see. Maybe not. Another limitation with this implementation is that it uses modern Java features. It uses features that are only available with Java 8 and beyond on concurrent hash map. In particular, the features it uses are the compute if absent method, which is really cool, but it only applies in modern Java. So if you're stuck on a project that uses legacy Java or older Java, then you can't avail yourself of those cool new features. So we'll, we'll obviously talk about how to fix that too in just a minute. 